just listen. You only hear the stream, some birds, nothing else. Of course, there are some mosquitoes also, but that's a part of the trip. If you want to have the chance of the big brown, this area is, is yeah, this is it. This is one of my favorite places to be. It's one of the remotest places in the north of Sweden, actually. It's a long distance to civilization. All directions. A bunch of flying blood-sucking needles have infiltrated our homestead and we're trying our best to keep them out because this tent was built to open up whenever the wind flaps. So we're holding it down with a bunch of rocks. <laughs> Gorging himself. Our goal was for hopefully a six, seven pound wild brown trout, which was just tough because we had really hot weather conditions, but we were surrounded by one of the best grayling fisheries in the world. Even if we're not catching the fish that we're targeting, it's really about the times in between the fishing, by the tent, by the fire, those drinks, those laughs. I mean, that's what these trips are about. See you, buddy. Can you give us a sound bite on the mosquitoes? A sound bite? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Due to extremely warm weather, uh, temperatures reaching over 90 Fahrenheit, uh, we had to accept defeat this time. But the, the grand finale is pretty much what we're hoping for. We're going out today with Jacob Eliasson. Jacob is very persistent when it comes to uh, mountain fishing in Sweden extremely talented trout and arctic trout fishermen. I'm not kidding when I said that I think he can, he can be the guy to, uh, to try and find that monster arctic char.
so Mercury is quite lost. Maybe it's a secret or yeah, maybe we're lost. Rise, rise, big rise. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit, they're actually working. Yeah, rise. no, they're popping off again. Yeah, they're pop, pop, pumping up. Popping off. <laughs> <laughs> they're popping off. Do you think this is what heaven looks like? <laughs> At this kind of fishing, as you know, there's just a, probably a handful, up maybe 20 really big ones. You don't want them to be spooked. Right. I will just wait for the right moment because we will have it. So uh, there's, yeah, I don't want to rush. I think we should have a nap and see if the wind settles. When you know there's bigger ones here, you, yeah, you're kind of like excited to catch one of those instead. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Cheers to the festival and really nice to have you here, guys. We're gonna have a really good time. We're gonna get them sooner or later. <laughs> Probably later. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting is kind of a theme here, huh? Yeah, it's the <laughs> it's it's the anthem of this place. Oh, there's a nice rise over there. You see it? Over there, just like one meter from the edge. The first time I saw that fish swim by, my heart started to race and my hands almost started to shake a little bit. Look at that thing. That's a big fish. You see the shoulder? That's the big shoulder. I hate how he does this. Look, he's coming all the way to the shore. Come on. Holy sh. Look at the f size of that thing, dude. <laughs> That's so crazy, man. We 
been in Sweden for literally 11 days. We fished so f***ing hard and this was exactly what we came here for. Yeah. This is insane. Last day. Last day. Yeah. Wow. Thanks, buddy. What we came for. Thanks for taking right. us up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to put in two weeks of hard work and for something like this to happen on the last day was a truly special moment. It felt like it was the team's fish. It didn't feel like my fish. Behind every tree, under every rock, around every bend, there's something that's completely new to you. And as you kind of come together and reconnect with the ground beneath your feet, you become more of a human again and you can work with the people around you to go through just about anything. No, I didn't land every fish. In fact, I lost plenty of them. And I think that's a consistent theme with being an angler. It's learning that through successes and failures, you lead to the same path. Whether or not you're catching the biggest fish, you're at least out there and you're in the water and you're interacting with this place that's so special and so unique and so important. As Americans, we expect everything to be action-packed and that we're gonna go into this fishery and dominate it. And in reality, it's really refreshing to see the opposite of that. It was a pleasure to be humbled. Yeah, man, let's go home. Let's, uh, let's get the next adventure ready.